Yo, what's up? I'm Zach. Welcome back to my channel of uh, Ruby Mythology. Uh, today we're gonna watch Henry at the third episode of Ruby Flaming Skull episode three, title Ice and Metal. And before I continue on, link in the video will be down below. Scratch what's good. See the video for yourself. Full screen. One of my commentary goes to put the official release. And hope you guys, um, if you guys want to see more Ruby content on this channel, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notification bell for more Ruby content. And that shows it means a lot to me that you guys want to see more Ruby content on this channel. I'm probably just going to use my screen recorder on this to watch because I just didn't feel like doing the editing anymore. Because I just want to do it because I miss doing it, but now I just don't feel like doing that anymore. How I did with my reaction. So I'm just going to use my screen recording for right now. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste any time, let's just go ahead and dive into it. There you go. Are we getting a dream of his past? Oh shit. Damn. The Snow Queen. Damn. Oh, new opening? Damn. Sleep. I have trouble sleeping myself. What are you doing here? Don't act like you're not happy to see me. What? No questioning? No asking about our conversation the other day? No deep dive into my request? I'm not in a mood. Besides, I agreed to do what you ask it. I figured out you would tell me why when you are good and ready. A patient man? Are you sure you're the dark and gloomy shadow I talked to before? I see you brought your attack, dog. Hey, I can hear you. I wasn't trying to be quiet. How about you come over here and talk to me like that? Do I need to put you two in a room? Ugh. I wish that I knew what to do about my team. What's the problem? They're so friendly, so 
happy. Like they're not aware that they are being trained to hunt the cream. It bothers me. Why? Because they're not taking this as serious as I am. Like Anton. He's supposed to be our team leader, but he's keeping cracking her jokes. Every time Rosie Nick makes a mistake, he never gets angry. He's being supportive. He's being weak. If you train like a weakling, you warriors become weaklings. And when you're weak, people die. I know that too well. How they can be pushed to their limits if no one is there to do it. Well, why don't you teach them? What? Teach them yourself. Show them true strength. You're right. How can anyone know how strong they are if they aren't pushed? If you believe that Anton's teachings aren't cutting it, then prove that your teachings can reveal what they are truly capable of. But us being to choose Anton. Then prove that he chose wrong. One day, you're gonna tell me what you know. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Oh boy. Can't we wait till Anton shows up? Oh. Oh. We need a break, man. Do you think Grim will allow you to have breaks? But this is training. There aren't any Grim around. This isn't training. This is war. Oh. Someone is taking this a, a little too seriously. Yeah. I thought he was warming up to us a little bit. No more talking. Well, he's really laying it on them. Mm -hmm. What he's doing is taking up training time. It's supposed to be our turn at the training grounds. Aren't they supposed to be here at noon? Come on! I want to fight, not sit around. I got up early and everything. You can always ask to join in. I would, but... I think Shadow's going through some issues. <laughs> oh, he's oh, being too hard on them. And where's Anton? Oh, oh, come on, Shadow. We can't fight anymore. Just give us some time to recoup. Giving up already? I know you two were weak. Hmm? Anton! Where have you been? Sorry, overslept. Someone turned the alarm off my scroll. What do you think you're doing, Shadow? Team Ruby's supposed to be training right now. Thank you! What I'm doing is training your team to fight Grimm. That's funny, because I don't remember Professor Ozpin making you the leader of the team. It's Team Acer, not Team Seer? Maybe it should be. Excuse me? You heard me. All of your training, this is what you have to show for it? Two weak little opponents. They won't last five seconds on battlefield. That's not true. We were at this for almost an hour before you stepped in, Anton. And I was going to easy on you. Out there, you want to get the same treatment. Shadow, I know Rosie and Eric. They have experience with fighting Grimm. You were not going easy on them. Still doesn't chase the fact they're weak. It's only been a few weeks. You can't expect us to be like you. And why not? Because we respect each other. <laughs> What's going on with you, Shadow? First you act all cold with us, then you want to hang out with us. Now you're hurting Rosie and Eric and calling us weak. How about you pick a lane for once? I'm doing what you can't. Making them into warriors. Are you saying that I can't lead this team? I'm saying you can't lead any team. Hey! You can't talk to Anton like that? What are you doing? You two go to the infirmary. What? Go. I can take care of this. How? Relax. I got a plan. You said I can't lead any team, right? Hey, Ruby, how's it going? Okay. Yourself? Eh, could be better. Listen, do you mind if I borrow Weiss and Yang for a second? Sure. Did someone say fight? Oh, I'm God, in. please. This will be interesting. But... Ruby, you're our team leader. You can't just let him take over for you. He's not taking over for me. He's borrowing you. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, God, that eyes. Fine. Yes! I hope Anton knows what he's doing. What? I don't want him to get Yang hurt. And Weiss, 
Wow. Good Who? So, what's this amazing plan you have that just so happens to require us? Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to take on an angry dude with some kind of complex that I don't even want to know about. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Wait, hold up. I'm as excited to beat this edgelord down as much as Weiss is. That's debatable. But no, that's debatable. why did you pick us specifically? Fire and ice is a good combination. Okay. But what's the real reason? Because you two are powerful fighters. Okay. But what's the real reason? Because I... Because I like you two the best on Team Ruby. Oh, you flatter. Wow. Yes. Well... Wow, Anton! Then smash! Alright, time for Team OY to spring into action! Wait, what? Is that even a word? Is that even a thing? Are you three done talking? Someone seems anxious. Oh, then let's not disappoint. Yeah, let's. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Anton in action? Hold up. What? <laughs> Too slow. Yoink! Wait, you have your aura. Wrong move. Now, Weiss. Can you even make it from here? I trust you. Guacamole! I thought why? I thought Blake was saying, "Holy shit!" Stronger than you. That's the thing, Shadow. You can be the strongest person in Remnant. When against a team that knows what they're doing, all that strength can amount to nothing. I'm not training Rosie and Eric just to be stronger. I'm training them to be a single fighting unit. You're strong and fast. But you have a long way to go to be a team player. You have to learn to trust us. Trust me as your leader. What do you say? Remind me not to piss you off. Metal skin semblance. Not bad. Metal skin semblance? Damn! Damn, metal skin. Hmm. Anton? Anton, what's wrong? I think my jaw is dislocated. What? I, I think my jaw is dislocated. No! You'll mess it up! On three. One. Oh! You said on three. Why didn't you say anything back there? I, I, I don't know. Everyone was being so nice, and I wanted to be a cool guy for once. You can be a cool guy and have a dislocated jaw at the same time. You had me worried. I, I wait. You were worried about me? That's not the issue. You were going on about having a cohesive team, but you tried to hide an injury from us. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? I. I. I suppose so. Well. As long as you're okay, you still need to go to the infirmary, just to check up on it. Thanks for helping me. With the jaw or with Shadow? Both. You could have said no. I did say no. But you helped anyway. I wanted to see what you could do. And? Honestly, you were lucky. But 
that being said, I'm impressed. Why didn't you tell us about your semblance? What semblance? Your skin. It turned to metal for a second when you knocked out Shadow. It did? Yeah. Wait, you didn't know? No, I... Huh. That's... In interesting. What do you mean? My dad. He... had the same semblance. Really? I know. Hereditary semblances aren't possible. I mean, that's not entirely true. I have the same semblance as my mom and sister. It's not impossible, but super rare. Who is your father? He was a huntsman. That's all I really knew about him. I never actually met him. He was in the city my mom was while on a mission. The two hit it off, and as you can see, I was the result. When I asked mom about him, she told me that he was practically indestructible, that his skin could become solid metal. I thought that was so cool. Solid but metal. I never thought that I would ever inherit something like that. That's solid incredible. Metal. Maybe you always had the semblance, but never noticed. If that were true, I wouldn't have had any broken bones in my life. Well, it definitely solid saved you from metal. a traumatic brain injury, that's for sure. Who knows? Maybe it's only now coming to fruition. Solid Maybe. metal. So, you went to Beacon not knowing that you had a semblance? Yeah, actually. I didn't think I'd get in either. I trained really hard for it, though. I knew how to fight with Solid blades and guns metal. hand to hand, but believing that I had no semblance, I thought for sure that Professor Ospin wouldn't accept me. But he did. Not only that, he made me team leader. Who puts someone who doesn't know their own semblance as a team leader? Obviously, Professor Ospin saw something that you didn't. He's pretty good at reading someone's aura. Look, Solid I don't know if you're expecting metal. some kind of pep talk from me, but don't. It's hard enough being a part of a team led by someone two years younger than I am. But I will say this. Why stand by what I said that most of what happened was based on luck? It was a solid plan. More importantly, even though you were working with people that you're not used to, you still trusted them. I didn't believe that I could have launched you above Shadow, but you trusted me. That meant a lot. A good team leader inspires confidence, and you did just that. If I'm being honest, I believe that you'll go far, and Rosie and Eric are lucky to have you. Wow. That kind of counts as a pep talk. I know, and I hate that I contradicted myself so quickly. Solid metal. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Now, how about we go to the infirmary? Just setting the jaw back in place isn't going to magically heal it. That is an excellent idea. Solid metal. There you are. Why did you run off? I needed to be sure of something. And? What is it? It's nothing. Not important to what we're after. Solid Cinder so, was watching. What did we learn? Solid metal. Austin. He doesn't know. Austin, Cinder was spying. Solid metal. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. The only character who has solid metal semblance. I swear. The only thing I can think of is Cinder was listening. Austin had a father that he never knew about. His father was a huntress. Uh, huntsman, I mean. 
and his semblance is just like his father. That only could mean one thing. Hold on. Let me check. Uh, his semblance. Metal skip. Is he? It, I was like, wait a minute, it's just, holy shit, it would make sense. Metal skin, metal semblance. Is he related to Cinder's first mentor in volume 8? Holy shit. That makes so much sense, I was like, like. Hold up, man. Damn. I was like, hold up. But, yeah, this episode was pretty good, and... Yeah, I figured as much. The sh Shadow's gonna be joining the path of evil. Yeah. That would make sense. I There's no doubt about it. But, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys did join the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Link in the video will be down below the description box. You guys know the drill about that. Links to my other channel, my social media, my Discord server. All that will be down below the description box. You guys know the drill. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Ruby is love. Ruby is life. Keep moving forward. And I'll see you guys later.